Hey guys, it's Adam from Thinking West. Today I'd like to discuss insights that a modern reader can take away from Marcus Aurelius' work, Meditations. Despite many military and administrative accomplishments, perhaps Marcus Aurelius' most lasting contribution was his personal diary, known today as his Meditations. Meditations offers the modern reader a wealth of practical wisdom from a man who reached the pinnacle of success. In this work, we learn about the dangers of heeding flattery, the importance of practical philosophy, and the primacy of mindset. So let's dive in. Aurelius's Insights on Praise As leader of the Roman Empire, it's fair to say that Marcus Aurelius received a great deal of praise from his subjects. However, he cautioned against heeding both flattery and criticism from others. Aurelius asserted that it is foolish to desire praise from most people. He writes, Do you desire to be praised by a man who curses himself three times an hour? Do you desire to gain the approval of people who do not even approve of themselves? Aurelius also stressed the importance of actions in and of themselves, regardless of potential rewards or backlash. Aurelius writes, When you have done a good act and another has fared well by it, why seek a third reward besides these, as fools do, be it the reputation for having done a good act or getting something in return? Finally, the emperor sums up his thoughts on praise, writing, Everything which results in something beautiful is itself beautiful and is complete in itself, with praise holding no essential role. Therefore, whatever is praised becomes neither better nor worse because it is or is not praised. I assert this also of things which are commonly called beautiful, such as material things and the various arts and crafts. Does that which is beautiful really need anything in addition? Aurelius on Practical Philosophy As mentioned previously, Marcus Aurelius prioritized action. As a result, Aurelius was a workaholic, finding it difficult to relax from his responsibilities. Aurelius reveals his philosophy on rest in Meditations, writing, Take pleasure and rest in one thing only making your way from one communal duty to another, always remembering God. Although today the term philosopher often draws to mind one who contemplates deeply impractical conundrums, in Aurelius' day this was not so. A philosopher was someone who adhered to a particular philosophical school's daily practices. Philosophy was a way of life, not merely a field of study. Philosophy was practical. Aurelius sums this up quite succinctly, writing, Stop philosophizing about what a good man is and be one. Aurelius teaches us here that the philosopher's life is one of action. Aurelius' Thoughts on Mindset Part of taking the correct action is first having the correct mindset over a given circumstance. One's attitude can help determine how to approach a situation and help to alleviate suffering along the way. Aurelius notes how much of what happens to us is out of our control. The emperor records that though we cannot control the majority of what is external to us, we can control our internal state. He writes, When jarred unavoidably by circumstances, revert at once to yourself and don't lose the rhythm more than you can help. You'll have a better grasp of the harmony if you keep on going back to it. A return to this rhythm was key to the Stoic school of philosophy, as much of the practice revolved around maintaining an inner peace despite the chaos of the world. One way to achieve this was to adjust one's expectations. Aurelius argues that one should not beg the universe for certain outcomes, but rather build an inner fortitude that can handle the rough waters of life. Aurelius discusses this when describing how one should pray. He writes, Begin to pray in the following way and you will see. Someone else may pray, How may I possess that woman? But you should pray, How may I not lust after that woman? Someone else prays, How can I be rid of him? But you, How can I not wish to be rid of him? Turn your prayers around entirely 
and see what happens. In conclusion, Meditations reveals the psyche of a man who had it all, yet managed to stay grounded in reality. Each person that picks up Meditations can learn something from it, and put into practice what they've learned, striving to become a philosopher in the way that Marcus Aurelius would have understood it. To these would-be philosophers, Aurelius offers a final word of encouragement. What could be clearer? No other life is more appropriate for the practice of philosophy than that life which you now happen to be living. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, read on.